Hey there, Nancy Drew Clue Crew. My name is Michael Gray, and today I am playing Nancy Drew The Deadly Device. In this video, we are finally going to explore the laboratory, which is right in front of you. Yes, it's taken us seven videos, but we're finally here in the lab. And just take a look at this lab. Wow! It is filled with science! I mean, look at this! Look at this machine thingy! That's science right there! Yes, I have no idea what it does, but it, it's scientific! Yes, and and we have uh, circuit boards and switches! Also scientific! And, and that's about it, really. Everything else in the lab is just for show. There's really not much science here besides for the machine and the switches. Yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, oh, we also have this thing, the 3D printer, which we can use to print out 3D designs that you make on Mason's computer. For example, we made this design earlier. It's cool. I want to print it out. Unfortunately, it takes about half a day for something to print, so... Yeah, well, we'll, we'll come by later and pick that up. We also have a book here. Uh, you can read that if you want. Uh, maybe you like books. In this corner, we have some sort of a uh, chemical stuff. So we have this cabinet, which is filled with chemicals, and we have the chemical area. This looks dangerous. I should make sure I know what I'm doing before I start. However, we have no idea what we're doing here, so we probably shouldn't mess around with the chemicals. Because we'll probably cause an explosion, like this. See, I have, uh, four, uh, what do you call them? Milliliters of water mixed with three milliliters of water. That's going to result in... Explosions. Yep. It turns out that water is very explodey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Water is definitely explodey. Good to know, good to know. This looks dangerous. I should make sure I know what I'm doing before I start. So obviously what Nancy has to do is find out what she's doing before she goes messing around with the explosive water. What else do we have here? We have the photolithography lab. Where we can build photo things, right? Yeah, we can make a circuit board, like, um, here on the right. It shows a circuit board, right? Come on, we need to make a circuit board. Uh, we'll be doing that later. What are we making a circuit board for? That's the question. We are making the circuit board for this machine right over here. Hmm, something must be broken. The circuit board is fried, so we're actually going to have to go to Ryan and ask for the circuit board schematics. Then we'll come back here and uh, build that circuit board in the photolithography lab. Let's see, we also have this. I don't know what that is. It's a thing. Looks cool. Scientific. Um, we have some things we can pick up here for other puzzles. Actually, these two things, the, the beaker and the folder, are for like the chemicals puzzle, which I just showed you. This, I don't know what that is. We've got another thing we can pick up. Interesting. Um, notice I'm saying, wow, that's an interesting thing I can pick up. And then I just don't pick that thing up. I'm a very bad detective. And here's an oscillator, which you can use to oscillate. Like this. Yeah, it's sort of used for uh, testing if something can live through an earthquake. Yeah, I think that's the purpose of that machine. But now, here is the important part, right? Remember this door? This is the door to the main lab. This is the scene of the murder. Nico was killed here. So, let's see if we can figure out uh, anything at all. What are we looking for? We're looking for clues. This is where the Tesla coil thing pops out of, right? Or is this the Tesla coil thing? Time to replace the capacitors, like Ryan's note in the book described. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, um, the Tesla coil isn't working right now. For two reasons. Number one, it, it's got bad capacitors. Nancy needs to fix the capacitors. Number two... It looks like something is missing. 
Something's missing here. Yeah, mm. so clearly this is not a, a good idea. That must be where the switch goes. And we have an emergency shutoff switch, which is good. I guess we can use it to shut things off. This is the Faraday cage. We were inside it earlier. I need to find a way to get that lightning rod working. Yeah, uh, but the lightning rod isn't working, as, as we've noticed. And upstairs over here, we have a puzzle. I have the clues I need. Time to figure out the correct sequence. So the clues to this puzzle, like the capacitors, are found in Ellie's area. The clues were found in the drawer here on the left. I need to find a way to play this. Oh, wow. Good thing I went back to Ellie's area. I completely forgot about this. Audio diaries. Those are important. And the capacitors are right over here on top of her little lunchbox. The capacitor puzzle is the same on amateur sleuth mode and master sleuth mode, with one minor difference. Time to replace the capacitors, like Ryan's note in the book described. In amateur sleuth mode, Ryan's note in the book says you can't have repeating colors in the same row or column. In master sleuth mode, you can't have repeating colors in the same row, column, or diagonal. So master sleuth mode is a little bit more tricky. However, the same solution works on both master sleuth mode and amateur sleuth mode. Put the uh, seven piece, that would be this piece of seven, right in the middle. And on the two edges, we're going to have the six pieces. I'm trying to get these big pieces out of the way first, in case you can't tell. So we have two pieces, which are six. This one, which uh, has a red on top, it's going to go over here on the left. Whereas the other one, with a black on top, is going to go over here on the right. Now they connect to these single pieces, so the red is going to go here. Purple is going to go there. Now let's do the five pieces. Where are the two five pieces? Here they are. So the five piece with a green on top is going to go right over here, whereas the five piece with a red on top is going to go right over there. And their partners are the two pieces. The one with the red on top is going to go there. The one with an orange on top right over here. Okay, so now we have two four pieces and uh, two three pieces. So let me see. The uh, three piece with the blue on top is going to go over here. It's going to be uh, followed with the four piece with the red on top. Which means that the yellow piece, the four piece with the yellow on top goes here. Three piece with the red on top goes here. All right! Okay, so that's your solution. It works on amateur sleuth mode and master sleuth mode. There are several more solutions that work on amateur sleuth mode. Now to solve the other puzzle. On amateur sleuth mode, you just read the clues that Ellie left behind, and you figure out what the colors are and what the order is. So let's see, we have a yellow square, a red diamond, a green circle, blue star, and the last one is purple, purple triangle, and you press them in this order. Blue, purple, red, green, and yellow. In Master Sleuth mode, you need to follow Ellie's slightly more complicated instructions in order to figure out that you have a purple square, a green diamond, a yellow triangle, and a blue circle. You want to press them in this order, purple, red, yellow, blue, and green. This gives you access to the control booth, so now you can play around with the Tesla coil. It's obviously not going to work because, as we saw earlier, it's missing a piece, but we can still play around with it. You know, choose the level, power on, and engage! Engage the machine! That's what they say in Star Trek, right? Engage, Captain! Engage! Yeah, there's lots of weddings in Star Trek. Captain Kirk is always getting engaged. I don't know what's going on in that show. Anyway, high setting. 
Lightning Rod on. Initial power. Charge and engage! Wait, why isn't it working? What are you doing? Uh-oh, Nancy got caught. That coil is deadly. Mess with that again, I'll be the least of your worries. Get out! What were you doing in the lab? I had a hunch I needed to follow up on. A hunch? I have a hunch. If you keep screwing around in the lab, you'll either end up fired or dead. Stay out of the lab! Okay, so playing with the coil results in Nancy getting yelled at by bald guys with beards. Maybe we should have left the coil alone.